In this video, we are going to look at how to do the NIC theming configuration in Windows Server 2012 R2 environment. If you are working in a smaller environment, you have to do the server side of the configuration and the network side of the configuration. If you are working in a big enterprise or campus environment, you have to work with your networking team to do the networking side of the configuration and you can take care the server side of the configuration. Let's look at some of the important things about NIC theming. NIC theming was introduced with Windows Server 2012. Before that you have to rely on third-party software to do the task. All the NICs should be part of the same server. You cannot combine NICs from two different servers into a NIC team bundle. So let's look at what is the purpose of NIC teaming. Let's go back to this slide. In the NIC team, when you combine multiple NICs into one logical interface, what will happen is if one NIC fails, your traffic will flow through this side of the network. Say if one switch fails here, your traffic still flow through this side of the network. So you are basically avoiding the single point of failure. NIC teaming helps you to increase the bandwidth, but it will not increase the speed, the total speed of your connection. Say if you have four NICs, you can combine them into four gig bandwidth, but you are not going to increase the total speed of your link to four gig. This is like you are adding lanes to a highway. When you add additional lane to a highway, you are not actually increasing the, the highway speed from 70 to 140 or more than that. As simple as that. Because when traffic flows, it has to pick one path. So one traffic flow need to hit one nick to forward the traffic. So if you have multiple traffic to flow, they will be hitting multiple NICs and multiple links to forward that traffic. Basically you are increasing the bandwidth. That's the total purpose of this NIC teaming other than avoiding the single point of failure. All the NICs share the same IP configuration. Say you combine all these NICs and then make a logical interface. You are configuring IP here into the logical interface not configuring IPs individually in these physical interfaces. You can combine up to 32 NICs and place them in a single NIC team in a Windows environment. To do the configuration, you open the server manager here and then you go to the NIC teaming and you enable it. By default, it is disabled and you will be prompted to this second screen and in the teams you select the new team and you will be prompted to this one so you name your NIC team here and then you select the adapters that goes into the into this particular team say if you want to create two different teams you need to have more NICs here if one NIC associated to this team you cannot use the same NIC to the next port channel. So you have to have separate NICs to create separate NIC teaming. This is where things get more interesting. You select the additional properties you get to this window. This is where you select the teaming mode because this because this teaming mode has to match what the switch is doing on the other side. Say if you are selecting LSCP from the server side, you have to tell the network guy, say you put the port channel or ether channel on the LSCP mode. Say if you are selecting static team, you have to tell them you put the port channel or ether channel on the on mode on the switch side. Most of the time you should select LSCP because it will negotiate the channel from both sides of the link and avoid the network loops 
when you select static team ink basically you are turning on the team regardless of a loop so there are more possibility you create loops and create network problems by selecting static teaming switch independent we don't use that much that means you can send these links to multiple uh, switches that is not very common we do uh, so static and lscp is the most common say to get to this this next window you basically right click here and select properties and then you will get to this window and then you can select the additional properties to configure this one say today I was configuring a nick teaming and my nick team didn't form I have no connection so what happened is I asked I called the network guy and asked what is the mode you put this team and he didn't know um, what mode he was using on the side and then finally I asked him the configuration he sent me the configuration and I saw protocol was none that means if a protocol say none that is he is putting that team into static teaming mode if the protocol say LACP you had to select the LACP to form the uh, NIC team as soon as I select static teaming on the server side I immediately see the port channel or NIC team formed and I was able to assign an IP so after that you go here and then you have the NIC team here and you select the change adapter settings and you will get to this window and you can select you can configure the IP here make sure if you are having a server you hard code the IP here or you have a IP reservation on the DSCP server because the server IP should not change because that will create a lot of problems hope this video is helpful for you please do subscribe and like the video and comment on my video uh, that will be very helpful thanks so much bye